What's up everybody, welcome back to the wild web of wild card. Now, today I have some gameplay from my first session of Silent Hill 2. Unfortunately, this is the HD collection, so it's the Xbox 360 port of the HD collection. Uh, so I'm not exactly playing uh, Peak Silent Hill 2 here, but um, nonetheless, this is my gameplay stages of the Jaluka Lake intro and walking into Silent Hill. This is like part one, I guess. I will be segmenting this into uh, separate parts, I guess. Uh, little bite-sized pieces because that's fun. Um, I wanted to have uh, the experience be raw and genuine with you guys experiencing it how it is, but I wasn't able to actually uh, uh, get any so uh, any sorry any live um, voice uh, <laughs> captures with the video uh, with the game audio uh, and the only way I could have was with a, another device which would have been poor as hell uh, just um, my hardware does not allow for uh, dual capturing uh, audio visual very sorry for that, but this is as close to a live reaction um, playthrough as we're going to get for this part, um, uh, full transparency, uh, by the time I'm doing this voiceover at uh, 3.30 in the morning on a Saturday, um, I'm up to the end of the uh, Woodside Apartments, so like maybe like a second bit chapter of uh, Silent Hill 2, which is significantly far ahead from uh, wherever this video will end at. Um, uh, yeah, just a, just a heads up. As you can see, uh, my brain stopped for a second. I hit Y instead of just making a save. For some reason, I'm used to the old 360s manual saves. I'm just, I don't know, just a mind blank. But uh, at this point in the playthrough, I was just absolutely taken aback. I, as you can see here, I just I hit the Xbox button and just to take it all in, I was like kind of overwhelmed by how beautiful and like um, how comfortable this environment was to me. Excuse me. God, I love the original voices. They're so silly, goofy, over the top, just, just out of place. And it is so perfect for a 2001 game. It just feels right at home. Yeah. I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Um, Akira yeah. Yamoka is like my fucking hero. Such a master of sound and sound design. There's the musical compositions. The soundtrack of yes. Silent Hill and Silent Hill 2 are just absolutely breathtaking. Like, so many hits in even the beginning of Silent Hill 2. Like, white noise is just sensational. And later on, uh, Laura's theme, the theme of Laura, I just absolutely slap such it goes hard as hell. And this man is just such a master. Of music. Okay, I got it. I'll be careful. I believe you. It's just, I guess I really don't care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going to town either way. James Sunderland is such a well written well, character. Before. Like, he knows that he's going there Someone for no reason. That very important. I, I don't want to spoil it for you guys that don't know. Do he knows that he's anything. going there. Nothing ultimately. And he's, I, I mean my he's still going. It's been so because that's I've just where that. he is mentally and like uh like I have my own interpretations of it. Uh, I've never uh, this is my first time playing I Silent Hill too. Um, but um you know, I've watched so much of it that I know I'm so much sorry. I spoiled the whole story for myself but it's not your no, I, I have I enough hope you find them. room yeah, for the Lord to leave it up to my own interpretation. Um, I'm sorry if this voiceover is uh, uh, interfering with the, uh, the voice, uh, the 
character interactions. I'm just giving my thoughts here, um, but I have my own interpretations of the story uh, and why James uh, ends up coming to Farron Hill anyway. Um, but I will withhold that because I feel like it would give away way too much of the story and plot details uh, for any of you who are unfamiliar with the property. Uh, however, we are now going to enjoy that uh, 50 seconds of me running around aimlessly trying to find where I'm supposed to go when the road that uh, the woman there tells me is right in front of me like straight up the cemetery god damn this man is useless and by this man and man I mean me not James and access them through the Xbox app, you have to do a tedious little process of converting them to your OneDrive um, on the 360 DVR, and it is just incredibly frustrating, and unfortunately, there's a lot of footage that I've either lost or I just uh, uh, couldn't uh, get transferred to my OneDrive uh, uh, as conveniently as I would have hoped, and it's just not sitting there, so for the purpose of completing this video, I've had to skip uh, me initially getting into Silent Hill, which is a massive part of it, and I'm very sorry for neglecting you guys of that experience, but that part is gone, and you might notice a little bit of cuts in between uh, the, the um, segments here before we finish up the video, so my apologies for that. The first thing that immediately captures you when you enter Silent Hill in a Silent Hill 2, at, at least that it captured me, is the, the sheer ambiance of the atmosphere, and it's just so palpable, it, it almost feels real, and yet despite its, its terrifying uh, look, and like how uneasy it makes you feel, and the, um, the constant uh, radio static emitted by the uh, by the creatures around you, hidden in the fog uh, from your radio, which is a defense mechanism. It's just so cozy. It's so weird to say, but this cutscene, it's so good at showing like how simply creepy Silent Hill can be when you think about how these monsters could just be figments of your imagination or your symbols of your anguish and your guiltiness. And um, obviously, I don't want to spoil anything. I have to but it's just such a look at that man. <laughs> just what just what it though. <laughs> you don't blame James for reacting how he does, but this is a smart protagonist. This is a smart protagonist. He grabs a wooden being in other in horror movies people have a tendency to smite right with the genre as a whole, especially in slashes, they have a tendency to be stupid. But uh yeah, this comes in obviously it serves as a, a um tutorial on how to attack, but it, it obviously is up for you to uh, work it out. I've had to cut, cut, cut it there because I didn't have enough footage. Um, once again, I apologize for that, but as you can see, I'm a, I'm a self-proclaimed completionist. I, I try to look around if I've, uh, if I've missed any of the little detail. <laughs> Take it anyway. I might need it. God, that is such a well-designed cutscene. I'm that it's even better than the uh, fight uh, sequence. It's and the bloody footprints afterwards. Oh my God, such a nice detail. This is the HD collection. Obviously, it is a remaster. But if this was in the original, it is just pristine attention to detail. And you only get this from older games like Silent Hill 2. It's just. Every single person on the Silent Hill team who worked on this is an absolute legend. That ragtag rogue team, and just holy shit. So, I go to save here, obviously, because you can never be careful. Um, uh, 
but I accidentally picked up a health drink first that I missed the first time around. I think it was one of the corners one before. Uh, yeah, that was. Um, but yeah, uh, despite literally just figuring out how to attack, I seem to lose the ability almost instantaneously like a fish with its memory bizarre. While you're about to see, I run into some, um, some, uh, dudes. I forget their names. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but I <laughs> forget my attack mechanism. I figure it out once and then straight after that I'm just a victim to <laughs> Oh my god, and, and this this assault, this barrage last <laughs> This is sad. <laughs> oh my god. This is just I'm getting like team up by these <laughs> This is embarrassing. Oh I'm not very good. I had to waste a freaking health drink because of this. It's just God damn it, I was useless. But yeah, this has been part one of my Silent Hill 2 gameplay video. I thank you very much for sticking around. I am much further ahead uh, yeah, from where we are here in this video. But as you can see, we've still got all of the uh, main streets of uh, Silent Hill to go. And then like the rest of the overall map, <laughs> we've got a lot to go. So I hope I'll see you in the next part uh, whenever and wherever that may be. Cheers.